Hey, it's your boy King and Ace Nova Slate Nova Chronicles. Hey, it's your host, this dysfunctional, dysfunctional world. Don't call it a comeback. We've been here for years. What we call it? Going to dust off the mic. That looks suspect. Uh -huh. Pause. <laughs> So we did this video a while back. They were asking what video. What video? Favorite, which we know we're gonna get some backlash. And, and I just want to tell y'all you first. So oh, man. By request, we'll be doing two part series. We're gonna start off first with our least favorite zodiac. The least. And we will be going back to our old top three mm -hmm. or low three to mm -hmm. our new top mm -hmm. three. So it shows you things change in life. I know we got a lot of shade thrown to us in the comments. It don't matter. When we picked out Certain signs that didn't want to be picked out that felt some type of way. Well, and we asking y'all to please update us. If you was back in the past or you knew in the class, then let us know right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What's your least favorite three zodiacs? So we're gonna go back and forth. Last time I did my three, he did his three. We're gonna go back and forth this time. And uh you gonna start first? I thought it went straight. Straight. One, one we did, one we one. did, but we're gonna change it up. Oh. Okay. So, you went first last time. I'll go first this time. Your least favorite, number three. From this year. From this year. Let's see. Least favorite from number three this year. Now, before you answer that, last year was. Number three on my list. Scorpio. Woo! Wow. I like you, but you never like that. <laughs> Always the same thing. So this year it is. This year it is not changed. It wow. is still the Scorpio. Damn, why? Why would you say Scorpio? Because this year I had a friend who was a Scorpio. I thought she was a friend who was a Scorpio. And all I asked her to do was one thing. I just asked her to listen to one of my songs and give me feedback. Because I was thinking about making it a single. Mm -hmm. She called me day in and day out, morning, noon, and night. And she told me her problems. She told me what was going on. She told me her stressors. Mm -hmm. She also told me that there was no way in the world that we'd ever sleep together. Yeah. Damn, so, she cut you out like that? Yeah. She put me in the friend zone. You, bitch. And I guess I got tired of being in the friend zone. So I put her in the no zone. Scorpio. Bow. So my thing was, uh, let's play that back right quick. Number three for me would have to be Miss Sag. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, the bossiness that comes with the relationship because that friendship is, is is better. I have a lot of friends say that I'm like, this is how the relationship is going to be. And when we get in a relationship, it's totally different. This year, I have to say, we're not, we didn't even say last year because it was way back. It was you know years. It was yeah. years back. So we gave it time to develop and, 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 and settle in. But my number three right now is surprisingly Taurus. Why? They Why don't you like your Taurus veteran? Man, Taurus has been hurting people, man. Well, they just why? be hurting. They, you know the girl that came from uh, no. Cali? Mm -mm. Sat right there. Right. And yeah. left. Hurt yeah. my feelings. You know the girl that I fell for Juliet? Hurt me, broke me down. Oh. Taurus has just been hurting, hurting, hurting. But you hurting. lived and gotten over it. You need to pick a new no, zodiac. No, man. It's, it's, they was my top favorite in the last one. I'm just saying the Bulls don't want to hear that you don't like them no I, more. I, I love them as friends and family, but right now the Bulls cause a lot of destruction and stuff. It's just... <sighs> so moving on, number two. Number two. What you had last year? I had the Leo's number two. And so, I say that because I was with a Leo for four years. And when the relationship was over, there was a lot of turmoil. Mm. All right. And so this year, my number two is a Gemini. Ooh, you dare not. Yeah, <laughs> she she kind of dropped some notches, but uh, we just we we were friends. We're I guess we're still friends. Um, what's your biggest issue with Gemini? Um, I don't know how to explain it. I have one friend that's a Gemini. She's distant. Mm. This friend, she would throw shots. She would throw shots. Herbert, shots or yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She would throw shots like on podcast. Mm. Like she'd come on podcast and she'd throw shots, and then she'll talk to me later and be like, "Hey, everything's cool." And I'm like, "No, that's not. That's not friendly." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not what friends do. Mm -hmm. So you know. All right, my number two. Years ago it was number two. Aries, it's something there, but it just blows up at the end sometimes. Uh, 
No idea, guess. It is. Yes. It is... Hmm. Pisces. Pisces. No. Nope. Number two for me had to be Libra. 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 And you I don't like the Libras. You don't like the Libras. The Libras have been just causing me this issue. Oh. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Okay. We know how the touch makers act. Crazy. <laughs> just to get in your situation, though. I'm just saying it. Wow. Uh, but I just can't get a Libra to stop trying to balance everything out. That's what they do. I know, but they just so hard to get. I can't get a Libra, bro. It's just impossible. They lead me onto the fantasy world. If you do this, if you do that, be my knight in shiny armor. I go out there and fight the war, and then I come back, she ain't at home. She ain't even in the palace, Miss Princess Libra. I mean, but, that, but that's what happened with Ben Affleck and uh, the other dude in uh, Pearl Harbor. That's what it felt like. Like, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't move fast enough, and then when I move too fast, I'm pushing it. Yeah. I can't move slow enough because I'm moving too slow. I'm not moving you enough. Gotta relax and let it flow. Man, I'm gonna have flow to number two. She out of here. All What's right, your next? Right. What's your number two? Next up. Oh, number next up. Next two? up. Number one. Okay, number one. Number one least favorite. Well. What were last year's? Last year's was. Well, last my number one is cancer. Mm. I was in a marriage with a cancer, and for 14 years after she tortured me. Wow. This time it has changed. Okay, okay. It's not her no more. Drum roll, what's number one? I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> it is the mighty, mighty Leo. You messed up, Craig. Nah, man. <laughs> I got fired on my day off. Damn. Yeah, man. Wasn't Leo number one last time? No, number two. Leo was number two last time. So she she moved up, moving on. She's number up. one now. She's not my side. she's not my total least so favorite. So why you got to break down the the, the 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 last draw? Why is Leo number one least favorite? I guess I'll just say child support. Woo! She don't want to take care of the Cubs. It is what it is. Ah oh, man. So my number one for me is the Gemini. Ooh. Why? Because I believe that part of me has a Gemini in me. So uh, I feel like a woman, when she talks to me that's a Gemini, she kind of interrogates me. Instead of getting to know other stuff, it's like she's calculating everything, trying to catch me in a lie or trying to research me. Like one is Pisces. I have yet to <clears throat> a Pisces yet, bro. I have yet to do it, bro. You got a couple of Doran fans that are Pisces that we love to. Let me tell you something, to. man. <coughs> Let me tell you something right now. Pisces just don't unite my fire, bro. Why? Because I feel guilty, man. Why? What's it's wrong? Just, it's just so cuddly and stuff. Last year, my number one was Gemini. Mm-hmm. Finally, I had Gemini Mars. And it changed. Yeah, I was sexually drawn to Gemini, so you're off the hook. But... It's just something about the Pisces woman that's still like, a even the one with the Aries Venus, it ain't, sometimes it ain't enough to change my narrative. So, so is it because you haven't had one, or is it just because they're not fiery enough? I just feel guilty dating them. You feel guilty? I feel, I feel like I'm a scumbag to have sex with them. Why? I just feel like my, my Virgo moons just want to protect them and just see them do the best without me around. That's deep. I'll be shocked if I find a Pisces woman that I that fits my Aries thing. Cause you gotta go through my Aries side. I just don't. I don't think it's going. St. Patrick's Day. <sighs> we don't get on that. Wow. But these are uh, least favorite three. <laughs> Check out the old video. I'll leave it in the description if we know how to do that. And. Keep supporting us. Can we drop any bombs? This is your boy. Subscribe, King. press the notification bell. Leave, uh, leave a comment. And don't forget, if you don't see this guy, he's still here in spirit. If you don't see this <laughs> guy, here. I'm still here in spirit as well. But hey, sometimes we get together and we do our thing. Yep. It don't happen very often. So like the channel, subscribe, be notified so we make the progress. Y'all make the progress with us. Do your closing. I'm your boy, Dis. Dysfunctional. Dysfunctional's world. Can't ain't no slate. Peace.